Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be comparing the uh, Xiaomi Redmi 3S with the Lenovo K6 Power and specifically we'll be comparing the camera performance. The Redmi 3S Prime when I reviewed uh, I said that it had a very good camera performance but now we have the Lenovo K6 uh, Power. Both of them have a 13 megapixel uh, rear facing camera but when we move to front facing camera we have a 8 megapixel front facing camera on this Lenovo K6 Power and uh, Lenovo is using Sony sensors whereas on the Redmi 3S Prime the front facing camera is a 5 megapixel pixel shooter and I've taken a lot of sample shots in varying light conditions so that you can get a better idea which one does a, a better job regarding the camera settings I disabled uh, uh, what do you say all the HDR settings and I've kept the uh, settings to 16 by 9 and I've set the settings to highest quality for uh, both these devices and I did not use any pro modes for example on the Lenovo K6 power the default mode was the smart mode but I disabled the smart mode so it's mostly done in auto with both these devices so let's have a closer look at the samples First, let's look at the picture shot in outdoor conditions. Again, here, as you can see, the K6 power has a slightly better dynamic range. It's very clear in this picture. Notice the shadowed area. They are much better with the K6 power. Again, in this picture also, the K6 power clearly produced a better picture with better color reproduction. When it comes to depth of field bokeh effect, it was difficult with both these devices because both of them do not have any laser autofocusing system. But it was a lot easier on the Lenovo K6 power. With the Redmi 3S Prime, I had to take multiple shots because most of the time it came out blurry. But with Lenovo K6 power, it was a lot easier with macro and close up shots. With Redmi 3S Prime, if I move very close to the object, focusing was a major issue. But one thing I have noticed with the Lenovo K6 power is that it oversaturates the color a little bit to make it look more punchier. Now these pictures were taken in indoor lighting conditions and there is a little bit of noise in indoor lighting conditions and as you can see again both of them have a lot of noise but the K6 power picture is a little bit more cleaner with slight more sharpness. This is the same picture that I shot with the Pixel and again as you can see these uh, smartphones simply cannot compete with the flagships in low lighting conditions. Another picture taken in my office, this is with the K6 Power and this is with the Redmi 3S Prime. But when we zoom towards the Chromecast uh, box, you can clearly see that the K6 Power is a lot more sharper. Both the devices severely overexpose the picture when you click the tap to focus in artificial lighting conditions. Here I didn't use the tap to focus and uh, clearly the K6 Power has more sharpness in this picture. Side by side picture of a box with a lot of text. Let's zoom in and see which one is uh, sharper. And again here, the K6 power is slightly sharper. Now moving to the front facing camera that is selfies. Here clearly the Lenovo K6 power has an edge. The pictures are a lot more sharper, but the pictures looked a lot more zoomed on the K6 power as the front facing camera lens is not as wide as found on the Redmi 3S. So what do I feel regarding the camera performance? As you have seen from the camera sample shots, clearly this time the Lenovo K6 power uh, does a better job in most of the conditions, uh, I would say, both in terms of front facing camera as well as the rear facing camera. In fact, uh, if we talk about the front facing camera the front facing camera pictures were a lot sharper with the Lenovo K6 power compared to the uh, Redmi 3S Prime but again one thing to note is that the Redmi 3S Prime's front facing camera has a wider vision so for example if you have two people uh, uh, in the frame it's easier to take the picture with this uh, uh, Redmi 3S Prime whereas with the Lenovo K6 power you have to really stretch your hands to get both the uh, people in the frame but the pictures that we take from the Lenovo K6 power front facing camera are definitely uh, sharper. So the clear winner in terms of camera performance I would say if we talk it's not like it's a day and night difference but again the Lenovo K6 power does slightly better. Uh, I have to say but again if we start comparing it with the higher end cameras for example some of you have asked me to compare even this Lenovo K6 power with the Moto G4 Plus if you start comparing it with some higher end devices uh, definitely it can't stand for example uh, the Moto uh, G4 Plus did better uh, particularly with the rear facing camera because it has laser auto focusing system so needless to say both these devices are doing a very good job in terms of camera performance certainly I would say if you have would have 
have asked me uh, in 2015. The camera performance has certainly improved a lot in these budget oriented devices, uh, frankly, now. And again, some of the advanced features are still missing on these uh, budget oriented camera phones. But hopefully in 2017, we'll have features like laser auto focusing system, even on budget Android uh, devices. So again, guys, uh, I hope that you found this uh, video uh, helpful. I've already posted the full in-depth review for this Redmi 3S Prime. Uh, the link will be in the YouTube show notes. And I'll soon be posting my full in-depth review for the Lenovo K6 Power. So stay tuned to my channel. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.